So this seatbelt position where I'm getting my leg in and using my hips, is the same thing from our knees. A lot of times we'll get into here and we'll start fighting, fighting knees, fighting knees. One thing, if I'm gonna go and lock my hands, I don't wanna dive under and compromise positioning to lock my hands. You know, even if it's not as dramatic as me going to my back, I might just get, you know, a really wicked wizard to come to here and he might square up and I'll lose the position. So when I lock my hands, like I said, get this knee in front, I wanna elongate them. And I wanna keep my chest high, chest big, chest high. I get my hands long here, I'm not diving underneath. Cause you know, that wizard is gonna put me in a bad spot. So I'm keeping my chest up and I'm just elongating my arms here. A lot of times I can kind of use the same position where I just take them over the top. But one thing, one thing I do a lot when I lock these hands, I just like to get height on them. And this almost immediately takes all the power away and I'm not too worried. Uh, I gotta just make sure I don't let him get pressure into me and him grab a leg, but I'm still not that worried if I can get my legs in. So but what I mean by get height on him is I'm gonna, I'm gonna step up and get height on him here. And that height is usually overwhelming to the point where there's not much that he can do. You know, I can also use that kind of pull back technique that I was using. I can pull back, pull back, pull back. I can try and get a takedown that way. But usually what I like to do, if I get these hands locked, just get height on them. <clears throat> Very easy to finish. And even if he stands up with you, he's a half second behind you. Step up, get high on him, get your hips in. You know, so the same stuff applies when we're on our knees. But yeah, this big no-no is here. It's probably the realistic thing that's gonna happen, you know. And then he can square up maybe and, and get out, but we keep him hip to hip. We beat this knee if possible. Long it here. Get high. One fun thing I like to do too from this seatbelt position on our knees is I'll play I'll play some games and I'll I'll head hunt and if they rise up, I'll go back low and run through them. If he doesn't, if he doesn't raise up from that head hunt, if he doesn't raise up, I'm, I'm just gonna take it. And a lot of coaches, you know, will uh, yell at you for head hunting, but I almost never actually took it. Every time when the seatbelt usually stepped up or I just, I just had to go here and he already was raising. And I'll recommit to low. So there's some fun different finishes from there. I've seen a lot more, you know, I know a lot of the high percentage Focus out free self finishes, but these are some of the ones that I've kind of created with this um, Greco stuff. Um, one other thing from this seat belt is a lot of times this guy gets far away and he locks his arm down. I can't get this second hand in to get my body lock here. And I can lock over, still do it, but it's pretty hard. So a lot of times when I feel like he's far away from me, I can't get this hook, I'll do something that uh, uh, a coach from my ranch showed me to do. If I can't get in here and he's, he's kind of getting out in front, he would he would come and, and penetrate this way, penetrate this way, and he'd hit him here. So I can't get these hands stuck. His butts butts out a little bit. Hit him there. So I don't know if you're seeing from that angle, but I'm here. Can't get those hands locked. Block enough. I'm gonna penetrate with this leg. And I'm hitting him here. Boom. Boom. I'm penetrating out that way. We talked about balance. There's no post here. And I feel like if it doesn't work all the way to his back, I'm, I'm kind of fine. It's pretty low risk, you know? Because this big hit, big hit here. Can't get. Get my hands locked, get my, get my hands locked. I'm gonna penetrate, and this hand's gonna hit. But I feel like it's a pretty low risk attack. I'm going forward here. Boom. So that's just another fun little attack that's kind of different, more international 
and it's it's really good for when this guy's trying to get his hands locked and you're trying to get your hands locked. And, uh, and I'm really butting out here. I'm butting out. See, now with my butt out so hard, if he penetrates and hits me here, I'm so off balance. So you gotta create that. You know, I'm, I'm really going for this. His butt's out a little bit. He's running in his hands. Up. Penetrating through where he's off balance. That's all I got from the seatbelt.